okay multi threading series part 4 in last few videos we are seeing that how we are fixing this uh, race condition issue using atomic classes or using synchronized log in this video we'll see how we can use this reentrant log okay so reentrant is basically explicit locking mechanism where we have a lot of controls where how we are managing the uh, locking uh, mechanism on any particular block or critical section and with that we can achieve thread safety as well so instead of this atomic integer let me try to use this uh, reentrant lock first i have to create the instance of this reentrant lock let me create that okay i have created the instance of this reentrant lock now what we have to do is the critical section where we want to put a lock before that we have to use this lock dot lock method okay so we have this uh, lock method now once a thread comes it acquires a lock it will only that thread can enter into this uh, part and it will try to uh, perform its task once that is done we have to use this lock dot unlock method so it will unlock it now other threads who are waiting outside they can enter into this particular block they can acquire it i mean they first have to acquire the lock once any thread acquired the lock it will enter inside here and it will execute the task and it will unlock it okay this way also we have we, we will be easily achieving this thread safety the only option that we are trying to do is we are incrementing this count value okay so that we are avoiding this race condition issue so this way also we can fix the issue and uh, it has lot many features comparing with the synchronized block those all the features we'll see it in coming videos so if we try to run the same code we see that the answer is basically same okay 2000 is the answer that was that is something what we were expecting and it is something what we, we are getting it okay 